everyone. Welcome to Geeky Girly Gaming. I'm Holly. And this game is making me hungry because I just see Kirby eating all the time. <laughs> Little, little, little. There we there go. go. Yeah, is that better? I was really uh, yeah, dancing to this movie. music before. <laughs> so we're playing Kirby's Adventure on NES. Um, so far, pretty cute. Yeah. What are you thinking of it? You're the one that's actually playing. I'm. It, so. I'm enjoying myself. It's just a nice, simple distraction. I don't know what that did, but all right. Like, I know. Like, I see a lot of the Kirby staples that from like. The newer games and stuff, like, because I played that demo, like I talked about, mm -hmm. and uh, I played Smash Bros. And so I was like, oh yeah, I can see where, like, where all this stuff comes, like, oh yeah, that's where that came from, Metamatoes, and what the fuck is that? I don't know what the <laughs> hell that is. <laughs> Kirby's and, basically not changed since 1993, is what I'm finding out yeah. here. Like, because, yeah, like, when he gets the sword, he does the exact same thing in the brand new game that just came out last year. Or this year, actually. It was just this year. Yeah. 2022. And in 1993's game, he looks exactly the same. He was doing the same stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. Great. Thanks, Parasol. <laughs> but I mean, I think that that's just because that's who Kirby is and what Kirby does. Yeah, he, like, like, that he's been true to himself. Like the He gains well, abilities I, from things I that he eats. I do have a memory with Kirby. I remember being on a school field trip, like, as a kid, and uh, I... Oh, I got a tornado. I remember my friend had a Game Boy, and he had the the first Kirby on, on Game Boy. Kirby's Dream Course. Yes. Oh. And, uh, I played a little bit of it, because he wanted to, like, talk to girls, and I was like, nah, why would you want to talk to girls? <laughs> you have a Game Boy, why are you talking to girls? <laughs> so, I Typical played... Typical nerd over so here. So, I, I played, uh, Kirby while he was, you know, talking to, I don't know, girls or something. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it was, I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Egg catcher. Press the buttons to make Kirby's mouth open. Try to eat the eggs, but not bombs. Oh, this will be good. Mini game. Yep. Hmm. And there's King DDD. He's giving he me the finger. Just flipped you off. Yeah. What? Oh. Okay. He's doing <laughs> it again. He's like, "Fuck you, Kirby." <laughs> <laughs> Animation, children's game, yeah. innocent little children's game. No. Nope. The heck is his power? I want it. It is the tornado. This is. Was that a shy guy? <laughs> it looked like. Okay, I cannot control him in this. <laughs> He's like, well, maybe let's jump, Kirby. No, no, I'm a tornado. <laughs> oh, a bomb. Do I dare? Okay. How do I just? Okay, let's do this. Bang. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was neat. Nice. I'm trying to, like, watch the game more now because <laughs> in the last episode I just did a lot of talking because there was a lot to talk about. Whee! And uh, I wasn't really watching the game. Oh my gosh. That is some pretty <laughs> water. Purple water. <laughs> purple water would probably make me a little scared. Imagine if oceans were purple. Oh my god. <laughs> The world would be so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from those guys. <laughs> oh, I can take you on. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I wanted what, to is take he, his tire. I wanted to take his power, but Kirby's just freaking out. <laughs> I guess I should just get rid of this power. It's a little too chaotic. There you go. Shit it out. <laughs> I'm gonna do this too. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. Um, nothing. Well, that's fun. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess they couldn't, um, have, like, a power for every enemy. Why not? I don't know. If you eat one of those tire things, do you turn into you a tire? turn into a tire. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what... No, that's for health. Drink okay. some water. Because I've seen some of, like, the, uh, like, the... This is what, like, a uh, knitted... There was a game where it was, uh, crochet or something like that. Yarn. Kirby's uh, ball of yarn yeah. world. <laughs> no, that's not Wooly, what Wooly World or something like that. And then there was one where it was like Play-Doh, which looked cute as heck. Um, it was like a clay adventure one or something. I'm trying Didn't to remember. Didn't Yoshi? There was Yoshi's. There's Yoshi's like, yeah. He had like world, a, Wooly World. But then there was a string one for Kirby too. And it looked really cool. 
trying to rem I don't remember, like, because I never played any of the Kirby games, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Cranes! Oh no. Oh, should I go for the small one? <laughs> what is the difference between the big and the small? I don't know. I'm gonna oh. go for the small one, see what happens. I guess you just have more of a chance to fuck up at the <laughs> like, small ones further away, right? Me, me, anticipation. Don't. Come on, Kirby. Yeah, yeah you were ah, on. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby! You were holding on! Oh, I just remembered your sister's cat's name's Kirby. Oh, yeah. Big fluff ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Fluff ball Kirby. Mm-hmm. Oh, get in there. Yay! Woohoo! Did I do it? Woohoo! You get a bonus. I got a bonus. I also uh, yeah, knew a girl named Kirby. I did, too, in high school. Yeah, there was a Kirby. Um, I think it might be the same one, because I didn't go to school with her. She was, no, she's... she was my age. <laughs> like, where was she your Was she my age? She was older than me. I don't know how old she oh, was, maybe. but she was older than me, and uh, her name was Kirby. Hmm. I don't. I can't yeah. remember her last name. Well, not, not probably that don't want to say. Not it. that I'm gonna say it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I always just thought Kirby. That's an interesting name for a person. Yeah. That's <laughs> Very what unique. I thought too. Like Kirby. Who names their kid Kirby? <laughs> To kind of do a back now, I guess. I don't Can't play. get it, eh? That's a whatever. Hmm. I mean, there had to have been a way to get it. Probably. Just not what by. What are me. these? Some kind of fish. They fish with. Donald Trump fish. <laughs> <laughs> they look like fish with goggles on. I don't know. I don't know. It looked like, like a toupee, like hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best fish. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do a Donald Trump impersonation, and I wouldn't even if I could. And you wouldn't even bother because it's yeah. just not worth. It. No. There we go. I want to get. Yeah, you gotta poke them. So if you had that sword and then you had jumped up, maybe you could have poked the bomb and it would have. I tried that. It oh. didn't work. I don't know. If I'm... I want to go back. <laughs> it's got oh some. My God. It's got that NES music. I think, yeah, like music in any retro games. I mean, yeah, I've been playing good. Castlevania, and oh, oh my yes. god, that music You've is. You've been so very good. into Castlevania I lately. Love Castlevania. No, I need that. Want my now, sword? are you playing the one that everyone says is like the hardest game like ever? No. Oh, you're not playing that one, the one that everyone bitches about all the time. Uh, I'm. Ju I was just playing the first one. Everyone bitches about everything. I don't know. <laughs> 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 You're talking about the internet. Oh no! I oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you meant the one that like where like yeah no you were watching a video on it and like they were they were showing clips of like AVGN and oh. the Game Grumps being like this is the hardest game ever. Um. Well, yeah, like Castle I'm playing, playing Castlevania One. I don't know if that counts. It is a it's a hard game, but I don't know anything about Castlevania games. And like, I don't know, it's, it's fun, it's difficult, it's a challenge. I have finished it before using save states, but... Mm. I don't know, am I supposed to just eat these guys, or should I... Or, like, get them in to kill each other? That reminded me of what we were watching the other night, stuff about... Can't jump. Fake speedruns. Oh, yeah. And people that fake speedruns. Oh, my gosh. Um... We've I we've made jokes before about speedrunning. Yeah, we're not speedrunners, so don't worry. And we're never gonna fake a speedrun video either. <laughs> not our thing. No. And it's ridiculous too because it's like <laughs> when you really start to like analyze like speedruns, like like I don't know. That all started because you were watching someone uh, that did a speedrun of of Castlevania, um, of Castlevania right? Uh, Symphony of the Night. Yeah. And he was showing, like, how he knew it was fake and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's the and... world record holder. I think his name was, um, something dragon. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm sorry. He had blue hair. <laughs> and then you showed me that fake speed run of Super Mario, Mario Bros. Yeah, that, um, asshole. I mean, at least I understand now how people can beat the game in, like, less than five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, watching, like, I was like how speed run is, is beautiful. Like, it's... Oh, that, it's, just, it's like a work it's of like, art. Yeah, it's just like it's so interesting to watch. Like they've got they've honed it down to a science, you know, like how they can um, 
like just make all the frame perfect glitches and jumps that they need to do and like you, they're beating the clock and it's a race and it's just really interesting to watch if you never watched a speed run uh, do yourself a favor pick your favorite game and look up speed run and like it's it's really interesting uh, why you would fake one for clout <laughs> of, from strangers on the internet, I will never understand. But, I don't know, that's what they want to do. <laughs> it's like, just oh, do your own like, thing. <laughs> since I've recently played, like, what, four different Super Mario games. Oh, yeah, like, a speedrun of Super Mario Bros, like, even the original Super Mario Bros. It's just fascinating to me because, uh... As, like I have such a hard time with games all the time. Yeah, you learn <laughs> you learn a lot from speed runs too. Like things like little tricks you can do on your own. It's like you don't have to be the fastest at the game, but you can find new ways to enjoy it. Whee! Four. <laughs> <coughs> I like how there's another Kirby there. Why doesn't he help me? <laughs> Let's fly up, up and away, Kirby. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, what but what really thing? bothered me about that, that, like, there's a famous fake speed run uh, of the original Super Mario Bros, and where he he clearly stole clips from like people who actually speed ran the game, and then people were going on into the comment sections of the people who actually speed ran the game and said, oh, you stole this from, from yeah. the fake guy. And I'm like, oh my God, that is so bad. Just shows uh, is... gotta do your research. <laughs> I would be so mad. That's why I'm never gonna play video games competitively. Yeah. For this exact reason. <laughs> because just like, just, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just too scary. It's too scary. I don't want people to be mean to me online. <laughs> See, that was what I was thinking, but I was like, if I say that, it sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> because, like, you know, you're always gonna, if you're putting yourself out there on the internet, Everybody. you're always gonna have haters, <laughs> no matter always, what. Like, no matter if you're the nicest person on the planet, someone's gonna hate you. Doesn't matter. Hey, someone hates you for no reason? Give that fucker a reason. That's my advice. Even in, in everyday life, you got a bully at school or at work, give them a reason to fucking hate you if, they, if they're just gonna hate you. Just fuck them. <laughs> I think it's funny because like, uh, I've worked in retail for a very long time and like, anytime that I've had like a customer who is, you know, not the best of the customers, like yeah. I won't go into any, any detail or anything, but like, Man, they make me laugh. They make me laugh so hard. And the funniest thing about about like the customers that treat you like shit is that um, you you t like okay like in the moment. Well, in the moment, it doesn't even phase me. Like it's just like like I just keep smiling and I just do my best to like help them or whatever. Yeah. But after that. Oh my god, you tell that story to all your co-workers, you talk about it in the lounge, you, like, and you just laugh your head off at them. And it's almost like, like, that is, like, a great way of treating, like, the haters, because, like, I just, like, I just laugh about them. I think, like, it's funny. And, uh, and, like, I've never been phased by, really, any, anything like that, because, um... I'm never gonna like see that person again. I don't know that if person. You're that customer that like has to like make someone feel bad at work. You know, like just doing their job. Um, just know that we all laugh at you. Like yeah, like After. we go to the lounge and we tell that story. <laughs> Man, I had this customer who's a total idiot, but like listen to this story. Look at this this jerk, right? And then we all go back there and we laugh at you. So if you're gonna be like, and but we also tell stories about the really good customers too. It's like, hey, I had this customer today. He was a really nice guy. And then you know, like we're like, man, that like, more customers need to be like that. How do I get past mm -hmm. this guy? He's camping the stairs. Yeah, like retail is actually oh, there we go. a lot of fun to work in, in my opinion. So, yeah, probably because I've been in it for over 12 years. But <laughs> it's an adventure. What the heck was going on? There? <laughs> It's an adventure sometimes. If you ever watch the show Superstore on Netflix, um, I've watched the whole show. That's a duck. There is right. so much. <laughs> it's like a sitcom or whatever, but like, oh my god, it's so, 
Like, there were things that happened in that show that I'm like, yep, this is, this is how it is. That is so, I related so much to a lot of stuff in that show. A lot of stuff I, like, was like, oh, that, that, I, like, I wish something like that would happen at work, because that's hilarious, but, um, but yeah, Superstore. Mm -hmm. I never watched. No, you never watched <laughs> it. But holy ice cream island is long. This is the fifth level. Flop. I love the face plant he does when he falls. <laughs> Do one more level. Is this the? No, it's not the boss. Well, or got... we could save the next level for the next episode and just finish that off then. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what we'll do. Should we do that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to I like to keep things at a good length of of I lost my laser. <laughs> video length. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> length of video length. A length of video length. Alright. Keep up the pace. Well, <laughs> I think that we will end that here then. And on the next episode we will hopefully this is the boss. We will go and take on the boss of this. Not we, Brent. <laughs> It's a team. And yeah, so hopefully you're enjoying this series, and we hope that you'll join us on the next one. Take care. Bye.